let me teach Christianity to Christians. Let me, let me teach Christian behavior to Christians. Christians, Christians, ladies and gentlemen, let me teach you how Jesus behaved. And this is why Christians need to be a bit more Christian. I'm not saying all Christians, of course. Do let me clarify. Do let me clarify. I'm talking about these evangelists, international evangelists, who fail to condemn evil language used by their brethren. There okay. is no such thing as evil language. So, so are you still filming? So, I've I've no, can you not? Can you not? No, 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 no. No, no. This is people's corner. You just stopped filming. No, no, there's only three here. I want to know. I want to know. He's filming on his phone. What, who is this prince and what did he say? I, I just told you, I do not want you to film. Why me? Because, other people because I don't know you. Because you don't know me? I don't know you. Yes. I don't know where you're going to put the footage. Okay, good. Then, then please, then, then I'm happy to discuss with you. Yeah, yeah can you discuss it with me and then film? So can, can you wait until we discuss it? Okay, okay. So now, 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 I really, I find it very disturbing that Christians like yourselves find it so difficult to condemn unpleasant, unchristian, unchristian, unchristian behavior. Uh, uh, is this Christian behavior? Calling, calling, calling. Okay, let you answer my question. Is it Christian behavior calling, calling a chaste woman, a chaste woman whore? Is that Christian behavior? Because it's, a, because it's a Muslim woman who calls in and she gets called whore. All right. Did she say anything crude within that conversation? So if she says anything crude, she, she deserves to be called a whore. I, I find this I find this very disturbing. I find this very disturbing. I find this behavior very, very disturbing. I'm asking you, your debating skill. It's embarrassing. What did the prince say? I just came and didn't know what the conversation was. Go and watch his videos. You will no. find plenty of evil and plenty of uh, repulsive behavior. Did he call anybody a whore? Yes, a Muslim woman who called in. And he called, generally, he well, called, that, he said them, they. Well, you need to well, the context as well, by the way. Context? What is the context? You just Can you someone find the video on plate? <laughs> Can someone find the video for me? You might find, the clip you might find, find please. Yeah, exactly. 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 Find What's the context? I don't know, I'm asking you. you, you uh, okay. If, okay, I am asking a question. If, if, if he called Muslim women that in general, is that Christian behavior? You ask me, I will answer. No, no, I'm talking, let, let me ask him first and then come, come to you. Is that Christian? If he uses a, a, a broad statement, um, saying uh, uh, Muslim women, so oh, pause. To say is that the right word you, you want to use? Pause. No, I disagree with that. You disagree with that? Do you condemn that behaviour? It's not for me to condemn him. He's, he's, he should really. He's, 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 Do you condemn that behaviour? I would disagree with it. I, I was not saying it's not right. Do you condemn? No, 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 he is called stop, Christian stop, Prince. Stop to he is me. called Christian Prince. It's like an Imam. Let's say an okay. Imam from the mosque. Although he's, he doesn't call, deserve to be called a Christian. He's neither Christian nor a prince. I made it very clear. I don't believe he's Christian and I don't believe he's a prince. He calls himself a Christian. He uses your name. He uses your religion to peddle hate, to peddle, to, pedal, to, pedal, to make money out of you, you people. No, no, no. How does he peddle hate? It's freedom of expression, isn't it? He doesn't call people up and harangue them. Are you listening, everyone? It's freedom of expression. Everybody is welcome to call him, especially Muslims. He doesn't, as far as I know, um, unsolicitedly phone up other people. He I'm losing. I'm it. losing respect for you. Why? I'm Have losing. You I'm him? losing respect for you. Seriously. I'm, I'm finding it very difficult to respect you anymore. My position is that I don't know another. No, I, I don't. I don't know what happened to decency of but evangelists. You're asking me questions that are already loaded. I don't know what happened to the decency of evangelists. I don't know where's the humanity gone from from the evangelists. Who's an evangelist? So, some. People, people who evangelize by lying and by cheating and by deceiving. Oh, no, it's quite fascinating. Like you, your, your definition of hate preachers now seems to be popular. We don't no? call ourselves evangelists. CCI, and basically anybody who can challenge them well. So Jay Smith is a hate preacher apparently. Bob the Builder is a hate preacher apparently. Why are we talking about them? 
Because if you want to talk to him, because they all the time is very okay, 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 we, Therefore, that become the five hate preachers. We can talk about individuals one by one if you so wish. We can do that. My this, concern, my concern is it's one specific, one one specific. My concern is yeah. one specific individual. Yes. If you don't believe me, yeah. there is a channel called Farid Responds, or Farid's Responses. Yeah. I want you to go and watch these videos where one of the Muslims, he has been responding to this individual called Christian Prince, who is unknown, hidden doesn't show his face, he's a coward somewhere sitting in, in the middle of nowhere, we don't know where he is, right? And he has been challenged to an open debate by Farid. Come, we will debate you, you can wear your mask, you don't have to show your face, okay? And in solidarity with you, we will also wear a mask yeah. to, show, to hide our faces so that you can have the opportunity to have a public debate openly. But this, this person is refusing continuously to have an open and open moderated debate he wants to debate he wants to debate from behind the screen of course of course the reason why i come here i'm a christian sorry i'm a christian okay and you were saying that evangelism evangelism we we evangelize we invite maybe you don't know what we were talking about no, no, listen to me maybe you we, don't know what. we speak the gospel you come here you come, you come here, Muslim is coming here. Do you know what we were talking about? No, no, listen to me. You come here. Simple question. Do you know what we were talking about? Whose camera is this? Are you still filming? I'm filming in this direction. And I've, I've, I've now come to you. Okay, where is, this foot, where is this footage going? On oh, what channel? I'm going to go to um, Jesus Reigns. It's, it's, I mean, I've just, I'm just starting it. I'm okay. just starting it. I haven't, I haven't actually put anything up yet. Okay, so don't, don't record me until well, I know no, you, until I've spoken yes, with you. But I'm ready now to introduce myself. And uh, no, no. And let me continue. let me finish with this. Okay. So so do you know what we okay. were talking about? Well, I, I'm let sorry, I'm sorry. But what? do you, do you know what we were talking about? He was talking about the priest Christian. And sorry. He was talking about a guy called a priest, a Christian priest. Do you know him? I don't know. So the, the, so so the, dis the discussion is over. No, no, what I'm saying is what I'm so, saying. So so let me let me summarize. So 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 the summary the summary is. You've been avoiding me. I want to answer. Okay. Yes. Concerning what you say, a Christian use a word whore to a Muslim lady. Sorry. I don't think he said he used the word a whore. Let people go and do the research. Yes. Let people decide. If, if, if Go if and look yes, at the language this yes, person, whoever, he's a person yes, somewhere. Yes, yes, he's a person, yes, although he's hidden. Yes, okay. If, and Christians if, yeah. amazingly celebrate him. Not, I'm not, I'm not saying all Christians because we are not extremists. Yes. We don't put all people in one basket. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So, apologize. So we don't believe all Christians agree with him because there are decent Christians out there who follow the teachings of Christ as they see Christ. Right? There are decent Christians out there. And we really cherish and appreciate those Christians. On the other hand, we have Christians who are a minority, who are very repulsive, very, very abhorrent in their behavior, and they have large following online. One of them is this individual called Christian Prince, who has used extremely disgusting language against Muslims, and he keeps calling them donkeys, dogs, whores, all sorts of words he has used online with impunity, with impunity. And we do not see any global condemnation from the Christian evangelists. I'm talking about evangelists. I'm not talking about Christian masses because we have seen many Christian individuals coming out, condemning him. I am talking about evangelists. Where are these evangelists? who have actually condemned, it, uh, condemned him publicly, saying this is not Christian behavior, this man does not represent us, he has nothing to do with us, we disown him. He is some liar, some deceiver, some disingenuous individual who is just trying to make money out of people, selling books. Uh, you know, when you read his book, you think it's written by uh, a five-year-old child or something. You know, there are so many mistakes, grammatical errors, yeah someone who can't even speak English and, and people are buying his books, right? So it is someone who is lying, cheating, deceiving people and making money out of gullible Christians. Christians who are buying his books and trying to fund him. And he's, he's just having a laugh at the expense. 
It is clear that this is not a decent person. How do we know that? From his language. Someone who is using that language cannot be decent. If a Muslim Imam, if a Muslim Dawa person was using that language, you would be doing the runs. You would be, you would be, you would, you would go to Australia, to Canada, to the US, and then you would come back to Britain screaming, shouting, look at these Dawa Gandhis, look at these Dawa people, look at these people, the Muslim preachers, look at the language they're using. You would be doing that. And, and, and we have been criticized for saying a lot less than what this guy does. A lot less. And imagine, imagine someone representing your faith. You think your faith is beautiful? My faith is beautiful. But it's, if, it's beautiful? If, if this, so, so, does it, I mean... Pre, allow, allow me to speak a second before I go. Yeah. If Prim says all this dirty language, we don't accept dirty language. Do you condemn it? Word. I condemn anyone speaking dirty language. Have you, have you, have you watched this stuff? I haven't watched, but I'll take an initiative Okay, then you don't know him, it. so don't worry about him. Yeah, I don't you don't know him. him. So I've got uh, to watch it, and then when yeah. I see you next time... I, I, I am saying he has been challenged by... He's, he's, you know what he's been doing? He's, get, he's, he's been getting his trolls to challenge me, challenge someone. And we don't want to indulge with someone like that someone so disgusting, someone so repulsive. We want to debate respectful scholars who have some dignity, who have some honor, people like James White, people like uh, uh, William Lane Craig, people, people like Samuel Green, people, people, of course, you're a civil guy. I would love to, I would talk to you anytime, yeah. no problem. People like Samuel Green, um, we've had, it's not that we don't want to debate Christians. We debate Christians across the world, around the world, I've had debates in South Africa, I've had debates in Australia, I've had debates in the US, I've had debates here in the UK with Christian scholars. And you, you, you are aware of them, right? So why would we debate someone like that? So, so one of our brothers has come out and said, I will debate you in public. Where are you? Show your face. Okay, don't show your face. You want to hide your face? Come in a mask. And in solidarity with you, I will also wear a mask. And I will debate you. This guy is nowhere to be seen. So this means this guy is a liar who is deceiving not only you, he's trying to deceive thousands of people out there and he's trying to make money at your expense. It's all about money for him. And we don't know where he's spending this money. He seems to be a very corrupt person from his language. Go and listen to his language. You would not allow your children to watch his videos. You will not allow your children to watch his videos. I, if you really care about your children. If you really care about your children, how can someone like that go on for so long using that language in the name of Christianity and Christian evangelists are missing? No one. And there were people defending him. There are people defending him. We never, Unbelievable. We never the, the of you the don't Bible know about is, him. Yeah, you but, don't know about but, him. But, Leave but, it. But Leave don't, it. Don't you don't know about him. The message of the Bible is love. God is love. God loves he mankind, he sent his only begotten son, he died on our behalf. You, as, a, as a Muslim, you deny this truth. It makes you anti-Christian, it makes you anti-God. Where, 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 where are you from? Where are you from? I'm from Africa. I'm, I'm Eritrean. Which, what part of Africa? I'm Eritrean. Eritrean. But, but that's not the point. The point of gospel. The, the gospel is that God sent his son. The Bible clearly tells us that Jesus Christ died. And you as a Muslim, you deny his truth. And this... Because you deny the truth, have, it have makes you, you anti-Christ, anti-Christian, anti-God. Anti anti let's have a conversation. No, no, no. I just told you to. Okay, yes. thank you. Have a nice day. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Adnan. So, yes. are we having a discussion? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, okay. I thought I thought you were. Yeah, you ready? Okay, okay, okay no okay. problem. So, I have so ten, you, ten minutes. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. So, you wanted to know who I am? So, call me Jr. Yeah, J R J R J R for Jesus Reigns because that's going to be my channel, which I, I told you okay. I'm about to put up. Okay. okay. Now I noticed that you had the so conversation. How, 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 what are we going to discuss in ten minutes? Okay. I noticed. No, it wouldn't take. It, it probably wouldn't even take that long. Okay. I noticed that you had a discussion with Caleb, in which you were um, basically saying that uh, Muhammad was the fulfillment of what was written in Deuteronomy about yeah. the 1818. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, you watched the discussion. I watched it, oh, and good. I noticed you missed that. You missed, you know, there are a number of things that were not clearly brought out. So, okay. So I'd like you to first of all summarize your view of that, and then I'll tell you what you missed out. Okay. In Deuteronomy 18:18, 18, 18, clearly there was a prophet foretold. Okay, because we believe God 
was telling Moses that I will raise you up a prophet like unto you. Okay, from them or from their relatives or from amongst them, whatever that means. Okay, the word we discussed it in detail, the word Qareb uh, or Qareeb. Okay, and later on, if you go and read the comments, people post it. Uh, Caleb, Caleb was wrong. You know, when he was insisting on specific meanings of the word, people posted in the comment section the word and its meaning. It actually means relative. More than anything else, it means a relative, right? Okay. So I was right about that, okay. by the way. Okay, so, okay. So, I, so, 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 so it was a prophecy about a prophet like Moses. So, so when we say a prophet like Moses, what does that mean? So when you look at prophetic qualities of Moses, not his human qualities, okay, his prophetic qualities, what were they? He was a ruler, he was a lawgiver, yes, yes, okay, so show me a prophet like Moses other than Muhammad. So he was a ruler, a lawgiver, a ruler of his people. And he was a lawgiver. Okay, okay, good. So good. as a prophet, yeah. he came with no, no, these. No, no, you've had your time. Yes. Come on, yeah. your time. So I'm just, okay. yeah. Okay, yeah. so I'm going to pick you up on all that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So all that you and Caleb were discussing was really a waste of time. Do you know why? Yeah. Because you mentioned the NIV. Now, let me tell you something. The people who translated the NIV are people who had PhDs. Who are pro professors? I don't doubt no, that. No, no, no. Hold on, hold on. Listen. I'm because, agreeing with you. Well, no, well, no, no. Then let me talk. I don't need you to agree because the way you were, you were all were talking, and you, as if, because you were focusing on that word, and I'm trying to tell you that why you're wrong, because the people who translated the NIV, which I've got here, professors in Semitic languages, you are talking about Semitic language, which you don't really know much about compared to them. Professors, people with PhDs from Harvard. From, from Cambridge, from Oxford University, professors, professors, and several of them, they're the ones that translated the word or the phrase into what you read. You, with your Googling, you're not qualified. You and Caleb, with your, you are not qualified. So that's the first point. And then in terms of, and in terms of what you were saying about the quality of, the, of, the, of, of this prophet, all you need to do is to go to the very end. If I, I'll do that now, it won't take me long, I'll do that. Go to the very while wh 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 you're going to the no, end, no, let no, me no, respond no, to no, the... no, 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 no. You don't want me to respond? No, I do, I do, but you don't have much time, and I need oh, to. No, no, you made a point. I... Let me respond, and then you can come back to it. Very okay. quick. All right, okay, quick on. response. Okay, okay. okay. As for PhD doctors translating Bibles, and um, and different words translated in different ways by experts, and myself and Caleb are not experts. Uh, let me let me dismantle that um, that argument. Go for it. If you read all the translations of the Bible. RSV, NRSV, we're gonna put we're gonna put King James version aside because that was old. Okay, all the recent ones, every single one of them is different. Certain words have been translated differently by different experts, right? So if experts are all PhD doctors, why are they translating different words differently? And if they are translating them different, differently in different places at different times, yeah. that means there is scope right. to understand them differently. Okay. And if there is scope to understand them differently, yeah. we can go back to dictionaries. As so long as so long as we are within the scope, we are not going. Uh, we're not doing anything wrong. You, you, know, okay? you were. You were. You were. No. So, you did you get not, my point? No, you were. Did you get my argument? I understood your argument. Yes. But, and you need to go back to the video because you were specifically talking about the NIV. So what you said about yeah. others, other, no, you're no, wrong, stop, you're stop, wrong. Stop, stop, Let stop, me stop you there, stop. you're wrong. No, no, stop interrupting me. Stop interrupting me. But you're wrong. But, but, we were not discussing the NIV. Finish. Let me finish, yeah. you were. That's what I'm saying, you should go back. Because he read the NIV and you said, you said. You it's a good a translation, you, but it's theologically driven. That's what I yeah, said. Yeah, yeah, yes. that's, that's right. That's well, right. Do you know what that's that right. means? No, no, hold on, hold on a second. Do you know what that means? Hold on a second, hold on, hold on. I'm not. I'm not going to be going all over the place. But do you know what that means? Can I can I finish my point? Yes, please can go. I go ahead. Point? Go ahead. So, the people who translated is it, not it's not a word who translated the sentence, the passage, 
because anybody that speaks multiple languages, you know that you don't just look at the words, you look at the holes, and, and they're the ones I'm saying, they are experts in the field, but, but you interrupted me. I, uh, let, let me, let me let you, you know, before but I went, no, no, hold on a second. But you didn't even address my point. Hold on a second. Okay. You keep saying that, but, but you know. Okay, carry on. Okay, right. Carry on, go ahead. So in terms of your description about who this prophet should be, that should be a lawgiver and other things, there's no need for that. If you go to the very end of Deuteronomy, it says, since then, no prophet has risen in Israel like Moses, whom the Lord knew face to face, who did all those things signs and wonders the Lord sent him to Egypt, to Pharaoh and to all his officials and to his whole land. For no one has ever shown the mighty power or performed the awesome deeds that Moses did in the sight of all Israel. That is the qualification of Moses that so when so when the Jews, the people the people who are qualified to determine who this prophet is, it's not Muslims, it's not you, it's not me, it's the ancient Israelites the people who were qualified to say this is the prophet that our book is speaking about Perfect. were the e ancient Israelites and they were the and we, we agree we, we agree we agree that was the ancient Israelites yeah and we agree okay 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 that's fine yeah and the so ancient we agree Israel that Moses Moses is a prophet to, to very quickly so that we can get to okay. the bottom of okay. it and Moses as a prophet he did miracles he did wonderful things just like you read and you're saying this is the criteria God is talking about. Continue. I have no problem with that. Continue. Completely. If you want to use that standard, yes. someone who did wonders and miracles, Continue. if you want to use that standard, Continue. then Muhammad, peace be upon him, definitely fits into that standard as well. Let me explain. He did miracles. Prophet Muhammad did miracles. And a lot of the Christians are actually unaware of those miracles. Continue. Right? What are those miracles? Okay. One of them, for example, was a miracle very similar to the miracle Moses did. You know, when he provided water from a rock. Continue, yes, continue, yes. Continue. Prophet Muhammad was traveling with his companions, over a thousand of them, they needed water uh, for drinking and making ablution. He put his hand in a pot, in a little tiny pot, and water gushed out from his fingers. This miracle has been uh, transmitted or has been reported by multiple companions, not one or two, multiple, who witnessed it with their own eyes. They said, we saw the Prophet of Allah doing this. He put his hand in a pot, water gushed out from between his fingers. Over a thousand companions, they took water from that pot and they made ablution from it and water was still gushing out. That's one of the miracles and there are more because the time restraint, I can give you more, but this is one, one example. Just like Moses did with the Israelites, he provided water for them when water was scarce. So if anything is, li if anyone is like Moses, by characteristics, by qualities, by law giving, being a ruler, being a miracle doer, or being a leader of his people in a similar way like Moses was, no one fit, no one else, no one else fits the description other than Muhammad in the entire history of humanity. I really have to go and pray. Thank you, so Thank you so much. We have to continue. We will continue. Thank you so much for being patient. Thank you. Okay. Where are the mic people? I have to go and pray. I'm going to are come you back. Are you, are you coming? Okay. Who's? Can you, can you hold the mic? Oh, Sam, 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 Sam.